Hi, I'm Johnny and today I'll discuss why your eSig battery might be dying quickly and what you can do to combat it. Now there are several reasons why your eSig battery might be dying so quickly. Over discharging, wattage being set too high, overcharging, incorrect storage, low resistant atomizer coils can all contribute to an eSig battery not lasting as long as you might expect. So let's take a closer look at eSig batteries and examine in detail some of the reasons for short battery life. Now there are a number of different eSig battery types. Integrated eSig batteries are integrated within the body of your device and cannot be removed. These are charged using an onboard USB port and usually feature pass-through charging, which means you can continue to vape while your eSig is on charge. Now removable batteries can be taken out of your device to charge them. Some can also be charged within your device using an onboard USB port, but it's normally advised to remove them and use an external charger. No matter which type of battery you choose, your eSig will either have settings to adjust or it will be a simple press and go eSig. If there are no settings to adjust, it will have either a direct output or fixed output. This means you have no control over what power the battery provides. It is either determined by the voltage in your battery, it has a preset power output, or determined by a combination of battery voltage and the resistance of the atomizer head fitted. Now, if there are settings to adjust, it will be variable wattage, variable voltage or variable temperature or a combination of more. Now these settings will have a direct effect on your battery. We'll look at these in a little more detail later. Now firstly we'll look at what our removable eSig batteries name means. Our removable eSig batteries have names and terminology that are a series of letters and numbers. For example 18650 2100 bar IMR. Now these are not random and they all have a meaning. So let's have a look at the individual components. The set of letters refers to the chemistry of the battery. Now below are some of the most commonly used ones. I equals lithium ion. It outputs a high nominal voltage of 3.7 volts, zero memory effect, high energy density, and a high number of charge slash discharge cycles. C equals cobalt. Cobalt delivers high energy density for increased milliamp rating and also offers a long lifespan. M is manganese. And manganese offers low internal cell resistance to enable fast charging and higher discharging rates while maintaining low temperatures. F is iron. This is more tolerant to being stored at full voltage for prolonged periods of time, but it suffers from a lower nominal voltage of 3.2 volts. N is for nickel and R is for round or rechargeable. So now onto the numbers. Now the first two numbers refer to the diameter of the battery. The last three numbers refer to the length of the battery. So now let's break down the most common external eSig battery, the 18650. So the 18 is the diameter of the battery, 18 millimeters, making the first two digits the diameter in millimeters. 650 is the length in tenths of millimeters, 65 millimeters. It really is as simple as that. So now you may be wondering what MA or MAH means after your eSig battery. So MA stands for milliampere hour. An amp is a measure of electronic current. And the hour indicates the length of time that the battery can supply this current. For example, a 2200 MA battery can supply 2.2 amps for an hour. Now, all things being equal, the bigger the MA rating of a battery, the longer it will last. For example, if you have a mod that has an integrated 5000 MA battery and you set it to output 30 watts, it will last twice as long as a mod that has an integrated 2500 mAh battery if the output is also set to 30 watts. However, in the eSig industry, things are never quite so simple. Other factors such as atomizer head resistance along with fixed output or direct current modes will also have an impact on battery life. You can, however, use the mAh rating to calculate approximate battery life, which we will discuss now as we look at Ohm's law. So what actually is Ohm's law? Now the formula is V equals R times I, voltage equals resistance times amperage. Ohm's law states that voltage equals a resistance multiplied by current. Now Ohm's law is a formula used within electronics and physics to determine current, voltage, power, or resistance in a circuit. Now in our world, an eSig is a circuit. An atomizer head's resistance is only a factor concerning battery life when using a direct current, bypass, or mechanical mod kit. Now the following formulas are of interest to us. I equals V divided by R. 
but to calculate the current drawn from the battery if using an unregulated bypass or mechanical mod, such as an AIO, divide the voltage by the resistance of the atomizer head fitted. Now the higher the current drawn, the faster the battery will discharge. So now the next formula is I equals P divided by V. To calculate the current drawn from the battery if using a regulated mod, such as an ARC5, divide the power by the voltage. Now the higher the current drawn, the faster the battery will discharge. The lower the current that is drawn, the longer the battery life will be. The higher current drawn will mean less battery life. So now we've looked at some of the eSig battery basics, let's see how some of these things can affect your battery life. Now firstly, if you're using a kit that allows you to adjust the wattage or the voltage, the higher you set your voltage or wattage, the faster your battery will discharge. If you're using a direct current or bypass kit or a mechanical mod, atomizer head resistance will play a big part in battery life. The lower an atomizer head's resistance, the more power is generated at the coil. Higher power equals more current drawn from the battery to heat the coil, which means less battery life. To help your battery last longer, you need to charge properly. Now some common sense needs to be applied when we talk about charging your eSig. Only use a high quality charger purchased from a reputable source. Do not overcharge your batteries. Leaving them on charge all day might seem like a good idea. It means you're guaranteed to never be caught short with a cell with low voltage. But this means you'll massively reduce the overall lifespan of the cell. Now the two biggest enemies for overall cell lifespan is using lithium ion batteries that are being stored at maximum voltage for sustained periods of time and excessive heat. Now the length of time it takes to charge your eSig battery is determined by several factors. If charging the batteries in the kit or mod, the charge time will be restricted. As all kits have a maximum charge rate, some older kits are limited to 250 milliamps, while newer kits allow the battery to be charged up to two amps. The higher the maximum charging current, the faster the battery will charge. Now, if you're charging removable batteries in an external charger, the charge rate can be adjusted on some models. Usually the charge rate can be cycled from 0.5 amps up to two amps. Now using these guidelines and a simple calculation, you can work out roughly how long your battery will take to charge. Now this calculation is milliampere hour rating of battery divided by charge rate in mAh and then times by 60. For example, for a 2100 mAh battery charged at 2000 milliamps, you would calculate 2100 divided by 2000, which equates to 1.05 minutes. Times it by 60 and you have 63 minutes to fully recharge. Now it's also important to store your eSig battery properly. If you have an external battery and you need to store it outside of your eSig, remember to use an appropriate battery case or sleeve to stop any damage to the cell. But we'll talk further about battery safety later on, but storing your eSig battery in a dedicated non-conductive package minimizes potential risks. But first, let's uncover whether the temperature of your eSig battery is important for the lifespan. And in short, yes it is. Extremely hot or cold can affect the chemistry within the cell and cause the cell to degrade. This is particularly true in hot conditions. The optimal temperature range is between 20 and 25 degrees C. Again, the two biggest enemies for overall lifespan are being stored at maximum voltage for sustained periods of time and excessive heat. There are several reasons why an eSig battery can get hot. When using a regulated kit and setting a high wattage, it can cause the eSig's internal chipset to draw a high amount of current from the batteries. This is to supply the amount of voltage needed to generate the high wattage. The higher the amount of current drawn, the warmer the batteries will become. Now, if you're using a direct current kit or a mechanical mod and using a low resistance atomizer head, the lower the atomizer head's resistance, the more power is produced. More power is generated by drawing more current. More current means more heat. Now, if you're chain vaping, current is constantly being drawn from the battery. As current is drawn from the battery, the temperature of the battery will continue to increase. Now, if you find your eSig is flashing, then this could be a sign of an issue. Kits that don't have a display screen still need a way to indicate of any errors that occur. Now, the battery flashing is usually an indicator that there is a problem. The most common errors are atomizer head short circuit, low battery voltage, or atomizer head resistance error. So as well as the above factors, we need to take into account that all batteries do have a life. No battery lasts forever, and they have a finite number of charging cycles. Now once this has been reached, they will all start to exhibit symptoms of reaching the end of the natural life. 
Charging a battery to approximately 4 volts will give a massive increase in overall battery lifespan, but will not last as long between charging. If you find that your battery is exhibiting these symptoms, then it may be time to buy a new eSIG battery or invest in a new eSIG kit. So now you know how to retain battery life. It's important to consider battery safety. Now, lithium ion batteries are safely used in literally millions of devices every day. However, there are some risks associated with such high energy devices that users should be aware of. Batteries can present a fire risk when short circuited, overcharged, submerged in water, or if their cases are damaged. Although many lithium ion batteries are protected, the following cautions are still relevant. As the protection circuit is a potential safety mechanism rather than something that should be relied on. IMR batteries present safer chemistry and less fire risks, but are capable of delivering very high power in a short burst. If short circuited, the metal causing the short can get hot very quickly, which may lead to other damage or secondary fire risks. So always buy from a reputable vendor that is proud of the quality of their goods. Check that the product or packaging displays the correct CE and ROHS safety markings and that the distributor can prove their authenticity. Do not store, use or charge batteries in extremes of temperature, high or low. Only use charging equipment in good condition and specific to your battery type. Never mix batteries from one manufacturer with a charger from another without specific confirmation of compatibility. Always charge batteries specifically as directed in the product instruction manual. Do not leave charging batteries unattended. And always charge batteries away from flammable materials. Always transport loose batteries properly, separated in non-conductive containers, and never where they can come into contact with metal items, such as those in your pockets, like keys or loose change. Do not use batteries with visible leaking or mechanical damage to their case, insulation or terminals. Do not continue to use batteries that have ceased to function normally. Do not submerge batteries in water. Batteries should be disposed of and recycled in accordance with your country's appropriate legislation. So you should now know everything you need to know about maintaining battery life and battery safety. But to learn more about eSIG batteries, you can visit our support section on our website.